Alrighty, I don't see you. Oh, there you are. Good morning, you doers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, try to be a little bit more excited to be here. Hey, it's first thing in the morning. It's hard to get excited. I got a box of parts for that. For the buggy. So the customer, uh, well, we, we in the last video we had done to straighten out the wheels and stuff. So we anticipated this was going to be here for a while. So I took apart the bike ramp because yeah, that, was a good that idea. had the, yeah had the optional extensions on it, right? That's right. So the extensions are removed from the side, just throw it up on the top of it. So, but it kind of worked out okay. So I said, well, because it wasn't, it was too wide for the wheels to go past them, right? That's right. The stance wasn't wide enough on, on the uh, buggy. But it kind of worked out okay because I was just thinking then, when I got to work on it now, I know. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. That way I'm not tying up that over there. That's right. That's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Anyway, he absolutely loved the job. Didn't he? he very was excited. Very excited. So anyway, now that I have it all organized, then he came in with a pile of parts. So this is what I kind of got him to go looking for. Some motorcycle stuff. Yeah, what's in our box? That's it. So we have two rotors. We won't be using that one. That's a front rotor. This is a rear rotor. We'll be using this one. Uh, we are we going to go with hand controls for the master cylinder, or are we going to go with the foot controls? We haven't decided that yet, but we have it here. We also have yucky stuff like that, and we have a. Air caliber. So. We're not quite sure. It's, it's kind of a bit of a tangle right now. That's right. But you know, it's it's something to work with. You're getting your ingredients together. Yeah. But I got I got two problems. Well, I got a lot of problems with this. But this buggy has really got some weird stuff going on. I just can't put a hard wire, a hard pipe, going from here to here because this buggy. It's shaking all the time. A bit of a bounce. Mm -hmm. So I have to use flexible lines, right? And the same thing goes with, with the front as well. So I need two flexible lines and this is gonna create a bit of a problem for us here. So like like right now I, I'm about uh, three steps ahead of where I actually am. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I just tried the fast track, which I which I'm pretty good at. I'm usually four or five steps ahead of myself. Like when I was here restoring, I had you looking up parts and research and stuff for things that were a month down the road. Oh yeah. That weren't even in the shop yet, right? No. So that's, and that's where you need to be. You, that way when you get to the obstacle, you know how to, to handle it, right? The blow snower is done. Mm -hmm. That created a little bit of trouble because these things are put together by young kids in the stores and if the bolts aren't put on tight enough they're put on too tight and they crack and the heads crack on like down in here you'll see an odd bolt that's because the, the top of the head cracked off and I had to drill out okay. the bolt to get it out of the thing right? so put it in there and then there was ground wires hanging off it, they weren't even tight and it wasn't the, the gear shifts weren't working properly. It had yeah, it was a lot of loose leaves. Oh it was brutal. And you know no hours on it you can see eh? But it but it works perfectly now. One thing that I do recommend with these things is this is the halogen light that comes with those things. The bulb oh. goes in here mm -hmm. and they never last. Okay. Because these things, see, when these are running, they're all of a shake. Like, like they're they're basically ready to have a nervous breakdown. Everything's all of a shake, and that filament, when it heats up, can't take it. Ah. So my fix for that is 
LED. Perfect. And that will take the punishment. May not be quite as bright, but it's not bad, I'll say. It's, you know, it's a bright, bright white. So. Yeah, it can handle the vibration. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? I remember when we had a, a snowblower that got back years ago before LEDs came in. There was no way of keeping a bulb in it. You ended up putting a tractor light on top of it. Mm -hmm. You know, and that lasted, right? So, so that one's ready to go. So we're just waiting for the customer to come back into a load of board truck and eat one with it. In the meantime, I kind of get, get my bearings with this. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to dig into it and see if we can uh, get a break out of that today. That's right, see where it goes. We were supposed to have a bad storm. We had right. weather warnings in effect, 30 plus centimeters. Got it this morning, checked it. No weather warnings. But a lot of wind. A lot you of can, wind. You can hear it. <laughs> hear it, yeah. So it is what it is. You grin and bear it. We only got about another four months of this and it's over with. We can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah. go getting discouraged. No, uh, no, don't Spring get Spring is coming. Yeah, if I look like I'm discouraged, it's just smoke and mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go back to work and see if we can sort this stuff out. What's up? Well, what I'm doing is I'm going to uh, clean up the inside of the hub. Yeah. Like you can see over there. Yeah, just clean it up really good. Okay. And then I'm going to. Some people would probably take that rotor and weld that directly on there. Right. I really don't, I really don't want to do that. Okay. I want to make up a backing plate to go on here so this can be bolted. Oh, so okay. if something happened to the rotor in time, they could just unbolt it and replace the rotor. Like it's a little bit more trouble. I mean, the lazy way out would be to run a bead right now. I have to be careful to run a bead because this is in set in wood too, right? So right. I have to stagger the welds a bit and let it cool down and go at it again. So, so yeah, so I'm going to make up a backer, put it on there, weld it, put that on there, bolt it on, and hopefully that will it'll make for a more professional job. Yeah, it used to be interchangeable too, right? Yeah, because when he's up to Tim Hortons now, and you know, and 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 all the other buggies pulling around him. He's going to say, well, my buggy's a lot different than your buggy. <laughs> you know, eh? You I don't know. think they went back in time. Of yeah. We went oh, back yeah. In time. You know, and all the horses are saying, how come we don't have brakes like that on our car? That's right. Eh? <laughs> That's right. Caused quite a problem. So I'm going to continue on as if I was normal and uh, clean all that up, and then I'm going to start at the, at the adapter. Make a telephone like this. <laughs> yeah, since we're going back and forth, why not? So basically, I got a couple of choices. I had to trace it out, went a little bit oversized so the bolts can go in. I'm going to punch the four bolt holes. I'm going to punch a big one here. Then I'm just basically going to go over to the iron worker and I'm going to go chop, 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 chop. Chop her across here, then I'm going to use the nibbler, chop around, then I'm going to chuck her in the lathe and, and start clean her up that way. It doesn't have to be like perfect, 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 but it'll be nice, you know, and uh, close enough because we don't have to worry about like a vibration or a pulsation. We don't have to worry about a high speed wobble or, <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, no. right now, unless, you know, like, unless he's going in the Kentucky Derby. Now that could be a different issue, but as far as I know, that will not be going in the Kentucky Derby. Okay. I know, but now I will say, I didn't ask no, so. And we've been surprised before. That's right. We can only you know, go on the information we have. Because there's only a Newfoundlander could take an old horse and hook it onto a hundred year old carriage and go to Kentucky Derby and win it. <laughs> <laughs> really, right? Yeah, really. So, yeah, so I'm just going to go over here now, just like this, and come over. And we're just going to uh, nibble away at it here. Like that. Just an end piece that I had. Go a little bit further. Sounds terrible, on. Yeah. This is 
is what the, this is how close we can get to it, right? Yeah. So now I'm going to come over here. And uh, you should never use this with the guard up. It should be used like that. But if I use it like that, you won't see it. So I'm going to make a couple of cuts so you, you can see it. And, uh, I'll just nibble along the edge. That way I don't have to break out the plasma cutter, but that being said, the plasma cutter is probably going to have to come out later on today. And I'm just going to continue on around that area, like that. So, for my own safety, I'm going to put the guard down. I'm going to lock it in, and then I'm going to cut the rest of them like that. Cut out, nibbled out. Oh yeah. Just grind it a little bit. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to punch those four holes. Get the light down here. Wow, appreciate that every time I see it. Isn't that something, eh? Your back on. Goes and show it works. So now what we have to do is we have to punch out that hole, the biggest punch that we have here. That's quarter plate. So I'll show you how we do that. This is uh, a lot of the tooling for this machine is supplied by there, Cleave Punch and Die Company. There you go. Great people to deal with. Awesome people. Great people, yeah. Very professional. Uh, I'd have to say probably leaders in in the world of iron workers and their accessories, right? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, like they're always coming out with groundbreaking designs and... and uh, That's what you're doing, you gotta keep ahead of it all. And this here is one of them. This is unbelievable. At one time... <laughs> Hold that thought. Yeah, that was again. Yeah, in the past when you wanted to change over a punch, this would be mounted up here. You use this big key, big wrench, and you unscrew this. Mm -hmm. You'd pop out the other one, you put the other one in, and you'd screw that down again, and oh, take the big wrench, <laughs> you know, right? I'm tired just listening to it. Yeah, but the Cleveland Punch guy came out with this system, this quick change. And basically, what you use is this. You take it, and you twist it. There it is, right? The only thing is I still have to change the bottom, the bottom die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So some things you can do quick and some things you can't do quick. Oh. And, and we'll, uh, we'll put this in now. Because some people haven't seen this before and don't know. Oh, that's right, it's new to some. As Newfoundlanders would say, they don't know what it's fit to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite the saying, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Yeah. When they don't know something. When they don't know something, they don't know it's fit to eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you basically pop that down into there. And you put that up in here. Loosen up a bit there now. These are a bit thicker. And you tighten it up. And you're ready to go punching. Isn't that neat? Very neat. never leave any tooling around your iron worker, especially over here by these big jaws. <laughs> why? Because uh, I found out why. 
So one day I had a nice pair of Sneedle Snows vice grips, mm -hmm. and I couldn't find them. So one day, later on, within that hour, saw something sticking out there. So, oh, there they are. When I went over, I only had a half a pair. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. uh, experience is everything. You're learning, isn't it? So I was at a local store and I was showing to this guy, and he said, "Ah, don't worry about that. I'll get you another pair then. I'll give me another pair." <laughs> Defective. Yeah. Yeah. I said, "Man, I said, did they when they cracked? They cracked off some clean." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we don't do that stuff anymore. <laughs> no. Yeah. So now we're going to punch out that center hole. And you know, when you look down here, that's a big punch. So we're getting there. Lovely, we're getting there. So now it's going to go into the lathe. We're going to chuck it into the lathe. And like I said, we don't have to be too, too particular. We're going to use a boring bar. Oh, so boring. Oh, a boring bar. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to start nibbling it away. Now, I mean, I could have took the plasma cutter and the circle cutter and cut all of this out and, you know, whatnot. Mm -hmm. And we could have took, we could have put our, uh, we could have put it in our CNC table, you know, plasma cutter. We could have if we had it, <laughs> but we don't. We don't have it yet. Maybe someone needs to send us one to mod for them. Or yeah. Or well, there you go. Like, if there's any, anybody out there, yeah, anybody out there that got CNC plasma tables, uh, you know, like anywhere from a four by four to a four by eight. We don't want any, anything bigger than that because, after all, it's it is going in the bedroom because there's no more room here in the shop. <laughs> Sorry. So, you know, Kathy's going to... We have don't to, sleep, so we don't need to do No, that's right, exactly. We're always on the go. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so uh, we, we are getting one, though, right? It's in the plans. So, I'm going to go in, put it in the chuck, and uh, get the boring bar out, and we'll show you just a little bit of that after. Why don't you go beating up that ladder with your leg? Don't you worry. Oh, my, now that's neat. So, nothing fancy, but hey, it's gonna work. it don't need to be anything too fancy. A lot of different fancy. techniques there, isn't it? Yeah, it's not that. Been fooling around, but it's, it's not complicated. So now that's going to go on there. Oh, yeah. And then, I have a means of bolting that on. Oh, yeah. To there, see? Yeah, now it's see, you can see it yeah. coming together. So that's the starting point. Listen to the wind, I know. eh? Well, I to go. Suppose it'll all stay together. Hopefully. So I guess my next thing now is uh, I weld that on there. Yeah. I don't have to be perfect, perfect, but I'd like to get it as straight as I possibly could. Listen to that. <laughs> no. You, you miss some uh, some machining. Your fault. Your fault. I was on the telephone. I was doing business. You, yeah, you were trying to get him to take a movie out that we never watched. Some good enough for me to sit down and watch a movie. What happens to me when I watch a movie? Fall asleep. Cold chunk. Gone. Out like a light. Don't even get to see the opening, opening credits. Opening credits. No. Gone. No. As soon as you sit down, you crash. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm used to going, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Now we gotta get the welter, the welter out. Welter? The welter. <laughs> Let's do it. So what I've got done, I just laid the wheel back on and bolted it back on. Because it's imperative that I have this flange on the straight. You don't want the rotor going back and forth. Well, these hubs, you know, weren't machined hubs, so they're not straight. But if you put the camera down there, you'll see how I got a spot welded on. Just see how straight that is. There's no wobble in it, look. Okay, yeah. All right, so that's as close as I'm gonna get it. So now I'm gonna take it off. I'm just going to uh, 
weld it in sections, segments over there, because I gotta be careful how I weld it because this center axle, the center tube, is inserted in wood, pressed in wood. So the more I heat it, the more I weld it, I can smell the wood burn. Oh, wow. So I need to make yeah. sure that I don't apply too much heat. So I got to, I got to let it, uh, I got to weld it a little, let it cool, weld it, let it cool. Mm -hmm. Boy. So it's a, uh, it takes time, right? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you can't rush at that. No. But that's the way it's got to be. That's the way it's got to be. You've got to try to get it as close as you can to right, you know? And this is the start of it. This is, once, once this is laid in place, right, well, then you can build on it. Every that's section right. then is a little bit quicker than the other. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, how I'm going to do the front yet, but hey, that'll come to me eventually. <laughs> By the time you get there. We hope. I had to lash her down, I almost locked her off the rim. Oh, I know. Wow, that was, that was crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'll put her in back in place and then I'll get back to welding. Well, progress. Progress. Come over and have a look at the progress. It now has the rotor. Okay, yeah. All right. So. Paint's not quite dry on it yet, but you don't want to make it look too pretty. There you go. So it's bolt on and, and whatever. So, yeah. So I guess now the next step would be to try to mount the caliper to this, right? Okay. And then the caliper, then we move on to the lines, then we move on up to the front. I foresee a problem with the flex lines, but we'll have to deal with that when we can. And the other than that, uh, it's just start here and move your way up front. Yeah, that's all you can do, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. You got to start somewhere, so you might as well start here, move on up there. That's right. It's getting somewhere. So it's lunchtime, huh? It is indeed. Okay, let's go to lunch. My gosh, why do you got a light out here? I burn wood. <laughs> <laughs> on the wheels? And I, I had to grind a little bit of wood away from the carriage. Okay. Wowzers. Yeah, it's crazy. Little smoke. A little bit. It's 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 not a bad job if you have all good gear. This is C solid. Mm. This one here is a double piston, but all the rubbers and the boots and are all tore up on it. Mm. I got it freed up, but I'm not happy with it. Oh, this it yeah, this here is the uh, the front brake. And, but it's a double piston and I like it and, and I got it working pretty good so I think I'm going to go with it okay. with uh, yeah so basically it had I had this this clamp on it I would have had this recorded but my videographer didn't show up in time <laughs> I had other uh, things to do with So that's how it was, right? Oh, so the okay. front axle, I guess, yeah. or this could be the rear one too. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Again, I haven't even seen the bike. I don't know what it came off of. So I'm going to eliminate that because I'm, I'm trying to make this as simplistic as possible. Simplistic also means it could be tidier looking, right? Okay. So this is how the caliper will actually look. Okay. okay, so yeah. what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a bracket that's going to come up here okay. and come up there and then I can, I can put some, uh, I can machine some adapters, some spacers to hold that in place. Yeah. And I think, uh, I think that would look tidy, right? Yeah, it does. It looks tidy now. Yeah, so uh, the only thing is right now it don't have any brakes. <laughs> <laughs> It just yeah. looks good. It don't have any brakes. No, that's right. But we can... That's in progress. I think we can make this work. I think, I think, I think, I think. And then we got to... Uh, of course, here I am going... See? I'm jumping ahead, <laughs> see? Jumping ahead to the front. Like I'm looking here and I'm, I'm, I'm looking up there now. Exactly. So, Paul, concentrate. Yeah. Focus. Focus, yeah. So. Yeah, I think that would look pretty good, actually. Oh, right? I do. Goodness. Yeah. That's because the owner had no idea how to go about it. No, no, well, neither did I. Some of these things you go at 
at you the moment. See it while it's here. I call it design on the fly. Yeah, that's right? what it is too. You know, it, it, and plus, you 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 don't know what you're going to be given in a box of goodies. No. So it's a, it's a surprise package. Yeah, it is. So you know, a guy comes in, here's the box, make it work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm just glad he didn't come back in with air brake boosters, because then I would have had air tanks to contend with and compressors to contend with. <laughs> so, you know, I'm happy with the hydraulics. There you go. Could yeah. always be worse. So I'm gonna make up a bracket now. Okay, my turn to use the camera. Kathy had to go look for some flex lines. So this is basically a template that I uh, made out of cardboard. We do it the old school way here. Yeah, old school. So that's that's how it's going to fit in. Let me see if I can move that light, folks. Hang on. Let's see, let's see. See what's going on. Yeah, so trying to make this as tidy as I possibly can. Oh, I got a text. Hang on, folks. Okay, so Kathy found flex lines. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, gosh. Text. I hate text. I hate technology. I love technology when it comes to my job, but I don't like it when they're arsing me up with the uh, text coming in. Okay, hang on. See if I can do this with couple of hands here so it's gonna go on like that and that's basically gonna fit in like that but I can't get it in too close because of the hub so I'm gonna stand it off a little bit and then I'm going to uh, machine spacers where I can bolt it on so we'll see if we can get you a better look at that there now come on over here so this is basically what I've got done here. And, uh, it'll work. Don't have to be pretty. This is basically the old bracket that came off. People might ask, well, how did you do this? And how did you get it smooth? And well, I use this duplicate. Hang on now. It's a really good file, that is. Who is it made by? It is made by Dynabraid, which is supposed to be a good commercial one. So, yeah, so let's go over and have a look see. So, it's going to go sit down there. Like a data. And this is going to go like a data. So there is, I'm going to have to make up the, the spacers to go there. And I think we're going to be in business. Basically, just making up those little spacers now. And then uh, I'll try to fit them. And a short time later, we have our two little spacers. So now I can start to mount the uh, caliper. There's what it looks like bolted together. Nothing fancy. Should work. Okay, just to show you what's going on. Wheels removed. You can still see how hot it is because it's bubbling. But it's uh, it's welded on both sides. Inside, outside, every side. So it's going to be strong. Wow. Before I come too close, are you okay now? No, I'm not very good. You were having a meltdown. Well, you messed up a good daydream. Well, not really. I was in there wanting my own beeswax, <laughs> and just like you were staring at me, I said, I said what? I said, nothing, I was just looking at you. I said, well, you fooled up a good daydream. Distracted I, you. I was right in the zone. Wow. Right in that zone. Well, and then you brought me right back to the grudge. <laughs> you were somewhere else. I, right oh, here. I wasn't. I wasn't even in the province. Oh my. I was like, where were you? Can't tell you. Were you alone? Because no, the next thing you'll be calling her and be <laughs> harassing her, <laughs> and then all her twin sister, her twin sister, and you know. That's what I said. Are you? you know, were you alone? But yeah. you're saying you weren't. No, I wasn't alone. No. Okay. Well, we'll have to leave it there. Yeah.
Now who's upset? <laughs> <laughs> You're evil. <laughs> well, I don't know if this is going to work, but we can, we're going to have to try it, eh? Yeah. We had no other choice. We had to go with this. I'm going to tell you, that's looking smurfy. That's looking pretty good, isn't it? It is. The brake's yeah. not bad either. No, this might work. It might. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, to change the orientation. That's a big word, eh? Yeah. Yeah. That's a big word. I saw that on CNN this morning. I said, man, if I could only remember that word to use it in the next video. <laughs> yeah. You did. <laughs> yeah. So I think what I'll do is I'll give this up now for today. I got that done. So tomorrow now we have to run uh, two flex lines. Well, see, technically, I didn't need to run a flex line here. But the problem was, because I know somebody's going to bring it up. The problem was, people are going to say, why did you put a flex line on that? Well, for two reasons. One, if you ever had to repair it, it's easier to move that caliper around with a flex line on it. But here's the problem. They have a banjo uh, adapter here, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Right. But the problem that I have now is there's a banjo on the other side, and it, I can't hook up my my regular brake line to it. Hmm. Now I could, you know, like if I had to, my plan B was to cut this off or or make a block for it that would accept this too. But that's a lot of fooling around. You'll yeah. eat up the labor of me knew the one of these pretty quick so at least with this I can put that on there like that and then I can attach my brake line to that and then go on up the rail and the next one will go from the chassis up to the the buggy okay. and that keeps it kind of neat right yeah. but uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be and you know what people are like you can't keep them attentive no no so we'll uh, people are busy well people are busy they move on and I so don't we're going to cut this one yeah short because i mean if you go into another day tomorrow yeah could run long into two yeah it's not going to happen we'll I'll, I'll have a separate one tomorrow or the next day right so folks we'll uh, well anyway uh, before we go if anybody out there has a cnc plasma table and uh and you like it can you just put in your comment what model it is and, and, uh, and just tell me how you feel about it and how long have you had it because... Right, that would be a good review. Yeah, yeah you know, because I mean, this is something new to me. Like, like I reviewed them about four years ago. Yeah. But uh, I'm kind of getting lazy now. I want to get back into that. Mm -hmm. Because the more you read up on those things, the more confusing it That's gets. That's right. It's much better to get it uh, from the horse's mouth. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, you, you're going to look it up, are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, your diet is working out great because you're not eating again this evening. <laughs> no supper for you. That's nasty. No soup for me? No, no soup for you either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to have a long, cold evening. I wish. Promise? Careful what you wish for. You better not fool up my, my evening dreams. You're not going to have to worry about it. Because I'm going to tell you something right now, you fool up your day once. You're going to have all the time in the world to yourself. So <laughs> you're going to have a lot of time on your hands. Anyway, folks, we got to go straighten this out. This is going to be a battle. I'm going to have a job to win. Oh, yeah, there's no win in this one. And we'll, we'll see you in the next video. That's me bone rattling. I'm that nervous. <laughs> Apart. I mean, the apart. Boats are rattling. Nothing left. You should be there. I'm this. telling you, I'm gone. Okay, yeah. well, on that note, we're going to be gone because you guys, you're falling apart. <laughs> you guys take care. See you in the next video. God bless.